Only one year passed between China's second nuclear test in 1965 and its first hydrogen bomb test in May 1966, a record for any nuclear power's rate of progress in developing such weapons. Moreover, on its first test of a hydrogen bomb, the Chinese military was able to drop the bomb from an aircraft, something the United States and Soviet Union had not been able to do for their first such tests. The sudden progress displayed by the Chinese alarmed many observers at the increasing speed of nuclear proliferation. Luckily, the Chinese government decided not to match the pace of the arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union. For Beijing, merely demonstrating the ability to build and test each new weapon system was enough. Underground nuclear tests lack the cinematic and horrifying majesty of atmospheric nuclear tests, but in some ways they have a frightening prestige all their own. The Kanakin test was the largest underground nuclear explosion conducted by the United States military and involved placing a nuclear warhead over one mile into the earth on the remote Alaskan island of Amchitka. For the safety of the Pacific Rim and the environment, the device needed to be placed as deeply as possible before its test on November 6, 1971.
the Kanakin warhead detonated with an explosive yield 400 times greater than the nuclear bomb used at Hiroshima. Upon detonation, the test generated a magnitude 7 earthquake at the site, effectively creating an earthquake bomb in a laboratory setting. Almost instantaneously, the ground immediately around the test site was raised by over 20 feet, and the ground shock of the explosion was felt at observation posts 23 miles away from the test. It was feared by opponents of nuclear testing that the detonation would generate a tsunami that would affect Pacific countries, but fortunately, that turned out not to be the case. The event you're about to see was among the best kept secrets in the history of nuclear weapons. The Nedelin incident occurred on October 24, 1960, when a Soviet intercontinental ballistic missile exploded on the launch pad. The extremely volatile liquid rocket fuel destroyed the missile and sprayed fire in all directions, likely killing hundreds of troops, officials, and scientists, including the director of the USSR's nuclear forces. A number of Soviet military servicemen and observers are seen running away from the burning plume of fuel, some of whom are engulfed in flames. What makes the footage all the more haunting is that many of those who died did not perish immediately, and that the secret was confined to the Soviet military for decades to come. The sacrifice of the deceased was not made public until 1989, nearly three decades after the event. <laughs> 